Today I'm making crown o' gold meatloaf. Today we're going back to 1959 to try out a quick meatloaf recipe from a French's mustard ad. At first glance, I thought this was a shepherd's pie. But that fluffy golden topping is not potatoes. As always, you can turn on subtitles by pressing the CC button or check out the full list of ingredients in the video description. Let's get started. For the meatloaf, you're going to need one and a half cups of breadcrumbs, one and a half pounds of ground beef, four egg yolks, one and a half teaspoons of salt, two tablespoons of French's mustard, one and a half tablespoons of horseradish, three tablespoons of finely diced green bell pepper, two tablespoons of minced onion, and a third of a cup of ketchup. Into a large bowl, we're adding our beef, if we can get it out of the bowl, and combining it with the breadcrumbs. The recipe calls for soft breadcrumbs, but all I had was panko. With how crunchy panko is, it was a little painful to mix it. In a separate bowl, we're going to whisk the egg yolks, and add in the ketchup, mustard, horseradish, green pepper, onions, salt, and whisk together until evenly mixed. Now pour the liquid mixture into the meat, and with impeccably clean hands, begin mixing the two together. I misread the pixelated instructions and accidentally used half a cup of ketchup rather than a third of a cup, so my mixture may have been slightly more wet. Once the liquid has been evenly distributed, pack it lightly into a 9 inch casserole or cast iron pan, and bake it in a moderate 325 degree oven for 30 minutes. While the meatloaf bakes, we can begin mixing our topping. You're going to need 4 egg whites, a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar, and 4 tablespoons of French's mustard. French's advertisement leaves a friendly warning that because French's mustard is made with rare spices, specially grown mustard seeds, and the finest vinegar, it has a special flavor, texture, and color all its own. Don't expect the best results from this recipe with any other mustard. Now we're going to add the egg whites into the bowl of a mixer and beat until foamy. Looks foamy to me. Next, add in the cream of tartar and continue beating until very stiff. Now gently fold in the mustard and once the meatloaf has come out of the oven, swirl the mixture on the hot meat. Bake another 20 to 25 minutes or until tipped with brown. What an interesting looking dish. The smell of mustard fills the room. Let's see. How does it taste? It's pretty good. It tastes a bit like a hamburger. The topping on its own is light and fluffy and tastes strongly of mustard. The meat portion is slightly bland with a bit of the ketchup taste. The combination of the meatloaf with the meringue-like topping makes for a perfect balance of flavors. While I would recommend you finish this when you make it, and avoid reheating it in a microwave unless you want it to smell like you live in a mustard factory, I'd definitely recommend giving this one a try and showing me your results on Instagram. You can find me at Michael with 4 Ages. If you liked this video or interesting vintage recipes, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and check out my vintage recipes playlist. I upload a vintage recipe the first Thursday of every month. And if you'd like to watch another video, you can click the card over on the right. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, consider subscribing. I'd love to have you around. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you all next Thursday.